Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Back in September of 2019 when Springfield Armory released the Hellcat, we had no idea they would come up with three separate pistols. We knew they came up with two. They were both black at the time and this is the standard Hellcat right here. It's a phenomenal pistol, highest magazine capacity of any gun in the industry, in its class. Currently it has an 11 round magazine. I'm going to get into mags in a little bit, but check this out. Adaptive grip texturing. Nice firm grip on the pistol without being overly textured. It does have front serrations, rear serrations that go all the way throughout the slide. A metal U in the rear and a tritium front dot. Three inch barrel and a phenomenal handgun. The trigger on it is really nice. Breaks right at five pounds with a reset right there for the follow-up shots. I have a lot of rounds through this handgun. If you look close, you may see some holster wear. I carry it in this multi-holster, works great. And it's an easy carry, very lightweight and small subcompact pistol. But then they also announced the OSP model, optical sight pistol, and here it is. The, it currently has a shield SMSC, and that is a 4 MOA dot with a polymer housing. But, you know, those who love red dots on their pistols, here it is. Same attributes as the original, or the standard, I should say. But it's optic ready. And that is the preferred method that many people are carrying pistols. They, they just, it's been a craze going on. And Springfield met the demand with the OSP models. They also came out with Flat Dark Earth. After the original launch, they came out with Flat Dark Earth, and isn't that a sharp looking handgun? Now it currently has the 13 round mag, but it is just as fine as this, but offers the red dot availability on there. Tritium front dot, everything else remains the same. An amazing handgun, and I really, do enjoy this as well. This fits perfectly in this crossbreed holster right here. And you know, when Springfield introduces a gun, holster makers jump at the opportunity to create a whole bunch of holsters, and they do. They 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 create the holsters because they know there's going to be a high demand for their products. But that is one sharp looking pistol. The one that took us all by surprise, big time, is the RDP, Rapid Defense Pistol. Now, the overall Hellcat remains the same, and I am happy about that because I, I love it the way it is. I don't want it to change. I don't want it altered. I don't want anything that would take away from everything that it offers currently, you know, and, and they, they, was able to accomplish that with the RDP model, except they extended the barrel to a 3.8 inch barrel and added a compensator. Now this compensator disperses the gases, making shots easier, follow-up shots easier, less muzzle flip. And you get the additional, um, well, 3.8 inch barrel, so 0.8 inches longer than the standard three inch barrel on the subcompact models. This is such a nice addition. It, it, I mentioned it caught us by surprise because nobody saw it coming. It currently has the 13 round mag in there. But this also has a hex wasp. This is a 3.5 MOA dot, a beautiful optic. Aluminum housed, it, it's just such a crisp dot when you, when you point at your target. And the accuracy that this delivers is unmatched for a pistol of this size. So they came out with three models that each are special in their own way. People carry them. They use them for home defense. They use them for range fun. Like you name it. These are real fine pistols. And I've spoken highly about them the last couple of years because I have a high admiration for the Springfield Armory Hellcat. Now, the magazines are, are great. I, I really enjoy the mags, and they've even expanded on the magazines as well. So, what we have here are, what do we have, five mags. Both of these are 11 rounds. 
So you've got the extended base plate, okay? 11 round capacity and a flat base plate for those who want to keep their pistol in the smallest configuration possible. And that certainly does. Offers two finger contact. When I go with the 11 round, I prefer this one for three finger contact. I feel like I just get a little more control when shooting. But also the 13 round mag. And that is a really nice touch. I, I really dig that. 13 rounds, you add one in the chamber, you're carrying around 14 rounds in a little subcompact package like this. I find it to be quite impressive. We were all shocked. <laughs> including myself, when Springfield Armory came out with a 15-round mag. Right there, 15 rounds. Now you're adding, you know, with a total of 16 rounds in the pistol. That is really something. So Springfield Armory is not a manufacturer that, that sits still and lets things take place. They are constantly innovating. They didn't have to go after uh, aftermarket companies. They didn't have to persuade anybody else to make it they're making their mags themselves and they created a 15 round feels like a full-size handgun a magazine and they did a great job so you add the whole package together you've got some amazing pistols here very subcompact you can add your magazine capacity of your choice whether you're carrying home defense range fund it's all available right here with the springfield armory hellcat you want the longer barrel you want the optic ready this hex wasp would be an amazing choice love these pistols i have always had a very strong admiration for them and that just continues to grow over time if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe